Yes, we'll have to hurry. I've got a lot to show you and we don't have much time. Where are we? In a museum, obviously. Uh, how did I get here? You should know that, but it doesn't matter. Now, I'll show you six containers. We'll start from the first, the letter Z. Gaetano Zambon was the son of Giovanni, a grain merchant. His father wanted to leave him the family company, but Gaetano had his own ideas and graduated in pharmaceutics in Padua. In 1906, with his partner, Silvio Farina, he officially opened the Zambon Medicine Store in Vicenza. The company became Zambon and Company in 1908. In 1911, business was so good a new headquarters was needed. Everything was going well. The company prospered and for a long time Gaetano had good results. Then his luck ran out. In May 1944, the Vicenza premises were razed to the ground. It was a terrible moment. Onlookers were met by a scene of total destruction. For a moment, all seemed lost. But Gaetano responded with his legendary character. In 1946, reconstruction had already finished with remarkable improvements and expansion. In 1948, Gaetano handed over to his son Alberto, who'd taken a degree in chemistry in 1946 and later one in pharmacy. Alberto realized before many others the importance of having his own products, coming from internal research and not made under license, but above all the importance of finding new markets. It all began when Alberto said to his trusted Dr. Ferrari, go to America and bring something back. And Ferrari came back with the acetylcysteine molecule, which transformed into N-acetylcysteine, became the first mucolytic in pharmaceutical history. Intelligence, disposition, Nature, courage, <laughs> memory, will, action, sensitivity. This questionnaire takes everything into account. Certainly. This questionnaire was created by Gaetano himself, and he used it to select his collaborators. This shows you the importance he attached to the people working with him in the company. Gaetano looked for gifts that were not just technical, reliability and discipline certainly, but also the ability to see yourself in others, to think about the common good and not just your own. People able to generate thinking, experiences, histories and different cultures. But also people capable of ideas, actions, projects and common objectives. Right, what you're reading is a value report. An unusual one perhaps, but one written with the aim of rediscovering the values of this company to chart its course for the future. Here we are at the M container. Make, it signifies. Look at these photographs. This is the Italian production center. A place of hard physical work, shifts, concentration, respect for precise rules, but also passion and experience. A great effort that is repaid with results. Zambon focused on three therapeutical areas. Breathing, pain and the care of women. The brand. Another way of talking about Zambon's history. In here are more than a hundred years of advertising. This has always been a fixed point in Zambon advertising. Honesty. Transparency is a commitment to the consumer. The brand and everything that reflects it still interprets the company's identity as faithfully as possible. Oh, for opportunity. This container is dedicated to research. Research is an opportunity, an opportunity that appears only to those who know how to grasp it. Only by broadening your scientific knowledge and tirelessly studying all social and organisational problems can you rise above mediocrity and make yourself truly useful and almost indispensable. That's from the moral testament of Gaetano. With the Z-Cube in 
2003, a new research model was created. No longer a question of square meters and the number of researchers, but the ability to make different competencies of high level work together. A network of relationships, universities, research centers, companies, to use in a more targeted way and in lower doses, molecules that were already well known and thus safe. To generate new products in therapeutic areas traditionally interesting for Zambon. This makes the research agile and flexible. N, as in now. This model is a project still to be built, isn't it? No, it's already operating. It's open zone, a place for developing ideas, a breathing space, one for defining the rules of what we call living well, which is our way of being and viewing work, as a place for personal as well as professional growth. What is ZOE? Zambon Open Education. This foundation, which inherits the business principles that inspired the group, is working to contribute to the growth of awareness of the techniques of health and well-being. Living is breathing. We are used to thinking of man who plans and transforms the reality surrounding him. But if we observe breathing, we realize that man can wish, plan and transform, but only if he accepts that in nature there exists something independent of us that we simply cannot do without. That's why the image on the pack is a human figure made of air, surrounded by air, to underline the continual exchange between man and his environment. At the center of everything is the person whom Zambon must help when he takes care of his health, a responsibility, a commitment to human beings. Well, that's the end of our journey.